Okay, this is task four, brake shoe replacement. Uh, we're going to be using these bench models here to take off the shoes and reinstall the same shoes. Um, but we're going to go through this whole process. Uh, we have two tools. This one is our installation and removal tool for taking off the springs and putting on new springs. Um, this is our retainer spring depressor. There we go. Okay, this is for taking off retainer springs. You may use this sometimes, and it may be loose enough. You, know, you don't need to use this, but you need one of these as well. So let's go ahead and go back to our, our, our brake drum assembly here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take off these two springs here. Um, we're going to use this end, and we're going to put this end with, with this hook right here on this anchor pin right here. What we're going to do is push down on the anchor pin, push the twist the tool around and pull the spring off like this. Now, you got to be careful that we don't drop these or lose these. Also, we always have our safety glasses on for safety so this doesn't go flying at our eyeball. That's no fun. So make sure your safety glasses are on. Um, the next thing we can do is actually take this spring out for our adjustment lever. So we'll go ahead and pop that out if we can get it. Take that out. And now this gives us some, some room to play with. So now our connecting rod. Same thing, we're going to twist this tool around, pull this off. Carefully. Now parts may fall on the floor, just like that. Make sure you pick them up. Do not wait uh, up later because you won't find them, and then you get very frustrated that you can't find them. And you can't pass the lab unless you have all the parts back on here as they should be. So we've got our two return springs, we've got our adjustment lever spring, we've got our connecting rod so far. Next thing we can take out is our brake lever strut that goes across, connects our e-brake lever to the shoe. We can take that off. Uh, make sure you don't lose this spring. It should have a spring on one end, on the, the skinnier end. You have a wider end here and then you have a skinnier end here with a spring on it. So make sure that spring stays with everything as well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take off our brake shoe. And to do that, we have to take off our retainer springs. What you have to do is hold the head of this retainer pin in the back, push down, and turn this 90 degrees, and take off. Got a little head here. It only goes in one way. The pin goes through the head, and then we twist this 90 degrees to lock it in place. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take our pin out of this side, put it down, same thing on this side. Now we'll all use the tool for this side. Again, hold the back of the pin in place, push down, and turn, and it should come off. Make sure you hold on to your pin. Now, on our adjustment lever, you have this little cap right here. Uh, make sure this doesn't fall out and that you don't lose this like that. Okay. Hang on to this. This is important to go with our adjustment lever. And if we don't have this, this isn't going to fit right. So keep those together. And now we can take off our brake shoes. Now on the back, we have our e-brake lever here. You can go ahead and pop that out. Put that on that. And now all we're left with is our adjustment wheel, our star wheel, and our spring that holds our star wheel together. So all we have to do is fold this up and take our spring off. Okay. Now, our adjustment lever here. You gotta be careful with this, please. Okay. On one side, this comes off. Make sure you don't lose this. We need this. Okay. Otherwise, you end up with just something like this, and that's not going to work for us. Okay. We need both pieces in order for this to go back together correctly. Okay. Make sure you keep them together. Okay. So now all we have left is our backing plate. Here's one of the pins that goes for our wheel cylinder. Make sure you don't lose that. So, and then we have our wheel cylinder here. We have our cable that attaches to our brake lever. This is the end of our e-brake cable right here. And our anchor pin. And that stays there as well. So now this is pretty much disassembled. <coughs> if you were going to do this on your own vehicle, I would want to put a little bit of grease 
just a little bit right here, 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 and here. Anywhere where you have metal to metal contact, you need a little bit of lubrication to keep this from squeaking. And you will avoid having brake squeak after putting in new pad, or I'm sorry, after putting in new shoes. Okay? It's always just a little dab of grease right here that'll help prevent the squeak. So now we're ready to put this back together. Just going to go this way. Round space goes on the top, flat side goes on the bottom. Our star has to go on the side of our adjustment lever here. They have to come in contact. If they don't come in contact, this can't be automatically adjusted. Okay? So that's really important that we have this touching this. Now that we have those in the right place, we need to go and put our, our spring here in the right spot. Um, it can't... We do put this on. Uh, we don't want this hitting. We don't want the barrel of our spring hitting here. Okay, It needs to go this way. I'm sorry. This way where we have space between the spring and the star wheel. We don't want anything touching um, there. Okay, Need a gap. So we know which way our shoes go. We're going to go ahead and put this here. Get our, well, tell you what, let's do our spring first. It's easier if you lay this down, but I'm going to do this up in the air so you can see it. Okay, got a whole tension on this. Flip this around actually. Okay, put our star wheel in. Pull your shoes out this way, and now we're in the right spot. You can see I have no contact or between my spring, my star wheel. I have, a, I have a gap there, so that's what we're looking for. We need to make sure we have our gap in the right spot. Okay, next step we want to do is put our emergency brake lever in. You can just pull the cord a little bit. that at an angle. And then we have that in. Our next piece is our e-brake strut. This is going to go across from our lever to the other side here. That in place. Now we're good. <clears throat> next step, you want to go ahead and put our retaining springs back in. So let's start with our adjustment lever and here's our little cup that goes in here. Make sure that goes in our liver, and this is going to go right inside the hole right there in the sheet. Okay, this pin, I want to just a little close up of this pin here. Okay, I've got what looks like almost the head of a nail here, and then the tip has this little flat edge on it. Turn this way, it's, see it's flat, skinny that way, turn it this way, it's wider this way. Okay, but when we put this in, we have to hold the back of this or else it's going to spin on us. We don't want it to spin. So I'm going to put this in to the back. Okay. Make sure our cup is in place. Get our spring. And again, holding this in the back, we have to line up the cut or the cap with the pin. And we're going to push down and turn 90 degrees. That's locked in place and that's locked in place. You go to the second one, same thing on the other side. Go ahead and feed the pin through the back. Get through the hole there. You're going to have to hold it in place. So it's not moving on you. Push down. Now you can use your fingers, or if it's a really tight spring, you can use your retainer spring tool. Get it lined up first. Push down. Turn 90 degrees and let it up. Make sure it's locked in place. So, the next part we want to do before we get any farther is go ahead and put these pins in here that go between the shoes and our wheel cylinder. 
that in place. This one in place. Okay. And then all we have left are our retainer springs. I'm sorry. Our return springs. Here's our two return springs. I've got one long one here, long one, and one short one here. The long one we're going to go ahead and put on second. We're going to do the short one first. What we're going to do is put our connector rod here and the coil part here hooks in the shoe there. And then I'm going to take this tool and instead of using this end, I'm going to use this end. And I've got this little pocket right here. This is going to go right on top of the anchor pin, and then the spring is going to go on this part of the tool like this. I'm sorry. Actually, um, not the anchor pin here. We're going to go on top of the hook part here. So I'm going to just go like this. Get this on the part. Hold this tool steady, because if you don't, the spring will come off. Okay, get that in place. Push this back. Same thing for this one. This part goes toward the shoe, like this. Push it together a little bit. And get that hooked in there. And again, this part is going to go around the coil. This part is going to go on the anchor pin. And I'm going to just, keep, again, i got to get my hand out of the way. I'd rather hold it over here in case this lets go. I'm not going to hold this here. If this lets go, I'm not going to get my fingers caught in the coils. And the end of the spring is not going to pierce my hand here. I want to hold it out of the way so I don't get hit with the spring. I'm not holding it here, holding it on the other side. And now that's locked. Okay. So now our return springs are in place, our struts in place. And the last thing we need to do right here, we've got this adjustment lever. It's all loose. I don't like that. So I need to put this spring in. And what I'm going to do is put it against the adjustment lever first. And then push it in the inside of the shoe. Now it's locked in place. Okay? It's not going to be moving on me. Okay, keep that in place. Okay? Once you have all this, um, come get me. I'll come take a look and sign you off. And that will be this lab for number four.